In this video, I'm gonna talk through the four habits that you can implement in your training right now to make you fitter, faster, and stronger for 2023. Number one is to make sure your training setup is super convenient that you don't even have the excuse not to train. So for example, Lydia and I, we've just moved into this new flat together. This is our bedroom. I will walk up from the bedroom feeling fantastic every morning. I look gorgeous and I walk in <laughs> and I walk in to our spare room. We're calling it the training room. It's basically, it's my room, isn't it? Isn't it my room? It's it's my room, all right? And I've got this set up right here to make sure that my training is super convenient, super easy, and I don't have an excuse. So I've got my turbo set up, I've bought uh, a training mat, I've bought the desk, I've bought the fan. You'll notice I've gone a bit budget on this. This is not the Wahoo ecosystem because that stuff costs a lot of money. So I've gone on Wiggle and I've got the cheap stuff. It's the same thing, it just doesn't have the branding and it doesn't look as cool. Essentially, if you've got the money to go for the Wahoo stuff, definitely get it. But if you don't have the money, don't worry because you can go a bit more budget, exactly what I've done here. I've got all my training clothing and stuff set up here. So everything is in this area. I just need to walk into this room and I'm ready to train. And that's what you need to do. You need to set up your environment so that it is really positive inducing for you to make sure that you want to get your training done. Plan. Make sure you're planning for your training. It's very easy to just kind of float around and go willy-nilly and just do what you feel like. But the issue is, over the winter especially, these shorter days, these generally worse weather in the morning and the evening, all this stuff, you're not going to end up doing what you need to do. You're generally going to do what you want to do. And to be honest, during weather like this, you just want to sit on the sofa and drink coffee. And I don't blame you for that. <laughs> but that's where having a plan comes into play. If you planning for yourself, if you plan every plan before the next day or plan before the next week, or even plan a month in advance for your training and hold yourself accountable to that, that way you're gonna get the training done. Also, you can train with other people that will hold you accountable or have a coach who can put your training in appropriately for you, make it bespoke for you, and so you can then ask them questions about your training and make sure it's adaptable and make sure it's right for you, that you've got confidence in the plan. And when you have a plan that works well, that you can tick off week in, week out, month after month, you will see massive, massive results. Mm, morning. <laughs> Third tip, recovery. No! <laughs> so, also, mind the bed. Lydia lost all of the bits for the bed, so we've just got a big cot now because we don't know where the sections are to put the slats on. Uh, I kind of like it like this, so it's really weird. Uh, but anyway, I, I let's forget about that. I feel secure in it. Yeah, so anyway, third tip is recovery. Primary source of recovery is going to be sleep. It's such a good habit to make sure that you're going to bed at a good time, you're getting up at a good time, you're making sure you're getting ample sleep. However, I do understand there's plenty of you out there that you can't get any more sleep. You're already maximizing as much sleep as you can because you've got to get up early for training, for work, for family commitments. So if you're maximizing as much sleep as you possibly can, how, what other areas can we focus on to make sure we're getting enough recovery? Well, luckily there are other areas. So let's go to the kitchen and figure it out. A great way of making sure you're recovered enough is having as much water as you possibly can. Actually, okay, <laughs> you end up going to the toilet all the time. Make sure you're drinking enough water. That's what I wanna say. Plenty of people don't drink enough water. I am a sucker for doing that as well. Your body is made up of mostly water anyway. And if you wanna recover from sessions, if you wanna feel better, if you wanna feel just good, then drink more water. Put down the coffee for one second and drink more water. Next up, form of recovery, food. 
make sure you're eating enough food and enough good food. So a good variety, you got your veg, you got your protein, you got your carbs. <laughs> <laughs> Only available at Little. Yeah. What, what else have we got in these cupboards? What else? We got some muffins. We got some We're get biscuits. Food, food shamed. <laughs> yeah. We got a potato though. A potato. Yeah. Just make sure you're getting a good variety of everything. This is a great form of recovery. So if you're one of these people that you're maximizing as much sleep as you can possibly get because of kids, work, training, your general lifestyle, which I know there's lots of you out there. Well, what's the next thing that you can prioritize? It's hydration, it's fueling, it's making sure you're staying on top of those things. The next thing to really focus on is stress levels, especially this time of year, and especially with what's going on in the world with the cost of living crisis, potentially people out there being made redundant or having stresses with how much things are costing with energy bills, everything like that. This isn't a finance channel <laughs> at all, all right? However, those are real stresses and those are things that are gonna cause people to be affected when they're, you know, you may, you may lose sleep over this kind of stuff. You may not look after yourself as much as you possibly can do. It's so much easier said than done, but trying to reduce your stress levels. Now, how can you, how can you do that? Even if that means going for a 10 minute walk just to get some fresh air every single day, have a bit of you time, reading a book, watching a movie, any of these things, anything that you know is gonna make sure that you can reduce your stress levels, that is gonna really, really help with recovery and it's gonna make you more consistent, more consistency makes you fitter, faster and stronger and you're gonna have a more successful 2023. <music>